Good day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, we're going to talk about how to make a long lasting mineral drip uh, that you can use, uh, especially for public land or crown ground here in New Brunswick, places where you don't want to be in a lot because you don't want you know people to see you going in, you don't want traffic in the area, uh, or you got an area where the deer are real skittish about scent. Uh, sometimes you have a whole you know, kind of group of deer and, and it looks like there's a lot of deer sign in an area. And then of course you go in just that one time or, or two, <laughs> there's a mosquito on the camera right there. That's what you're seeing. Get, be gone. There you go. Oh, mosquitoes are bad here. Um, so you go into that area, right? And a couple of times in and you leave some scent and then all of a sudden the deer vacate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create one of these hanging mineral drips, these mineral dr uh, licks, um, that you can, that you put it up one time and then you let it go all summer. Uh, right through fall and then and then right up until the time that you want to hunt it. Now you can put cameras on these if you want to. I sometimes do, I sometimes don't. I am going to put a camera on this one uh, but like I say once now that this is up and done I'm not coming back in here again until um, until fall and then I'll take a look at my pictures and see what's in here for for you know decent bucks to hunt. So anyway listen if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wild Man channel we sure would appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button Turn that bell so that you get notified whenever we upload new content. Uh, that way, you know, if you got some videos that might be interested or you might be interested in, then, uh, then you don't miss those. So uh, stay with me. Uh, here we go on how to make a hanging mineral lick. All right, guys. So uh, we're in here now, and uh, we're at the spot where we're going to use our, uh, our hanging mineral lick. And what you're going to need to do, you've got your mixture. Okay, so I've got my mixture in this pail. Right, and so I've given it a good shake and it's all, you know, mixed together real well. So the first thing we got going in the pail is this product is molasses. Now, it's actually not liquid molasses. This is dehydrated molasses and this stuff is great. Uh, I get this at a local feed store. I have to ask for it, but it's not very expensive. And it's basically, looks a lot like coffee grind but it's molasses. It looks and smells just like, just like regular feed molasses. So that's the first thing that we use. And depending on the size of the, the bag that you're gonna hang, depends on, I, I like to use almost half, um, half to three quarters uh, of the content of the bag is gonna be this molasses. Next, I'm gonna add about a, just a half a bag of regular, uh, regular road salt. So, you know, the bags of salt that you'd buy for your driveway. Um, this is a 20 kg bag. I've got just a little under half the bag. Again, it depends on the size of the, the size of the container that you're gonna hang. But, um, so anyway, that's next. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can buy hunting salt if you want, or you can just use regular old road salt. Um, but that's what's next. And my third and final ingredient is gonna be uh, deer cane. Now, if you, I suggest uh, that you don't use the black magic. This is the kind that you don't have to mix or anything um, to put out. So I don't use this. I don't like it in this, in this type of drip. Now what I do like to use is the original deer cane. Um, this is the stuff that you're supposed to mix with water that creates an instant mineral lick and all of that jazz. I'm gonna use about a half a bag of this in this pail. Uh, and I'm gonna mix all the ingredients together really, really well. And then I'm going to carry the pail in. It's important that you don't put the stuff in your container, in your hanging bag just yet. Okay, you want to do that on site. Anyway, so once you've selected your location, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to have uh, some type of bag. Now, I use a cloth bag. I guess it's really not cloth. It's more of a canvas, okay? So this I picked up for, I don't know, maybe a dollar or whatever at an army surplus store. And this is just a regular real strong, you know, military type canvas bag. Uh, this is ideal, okay? So if you can find a canvas bag or something really sturdy, um, that's a lot better, something that the water doesn't drip right through quickly. So you don't want to use anything like cotton or you don't want to use a pillowcase or anything like that. You'd like it to be a fair bit stronger than that. Okay, so you need a canvas bag and you need your ingredients, of course. And then you're going to want to select a place uh, you know, real close to the area where you want your mineral lick to be. Um, and again, the deer in this area seem to be quite skittish about human scent, so I don't want to be in here all the time. What I want to be able to do is just set my lick, set my camera, um, and, then, and then leave this alone for all summer long. But I want to, I want to make sure that I can still um, 
still have the minerals be refreshed as often as they need to be, right? So with this system, every time it rains, um, it's going to drip down through and I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get a new fresh bunch of mineral and molasses smell on the ground. So I've selected this nice birch, really convenient. Um, comes up at a sharp angle and then it's broken off and then goes up. So this is going to be a perfect place right there to attach my bag and then get it right up off the ground, okay? Um, and then my mineral lick will end up being right here on the bottom. Uh, once you've went ahead and selected your location, you're going to need a couple of other things with you, okay? Uh, you're going to need something to put water in, depending on how far away you are from uh, the nearest water source. And if you're doing a mineral lick for deer in New Brunswick, at least I know, you shouldn't be too far away uh, from some water. So it shouldn't be a big deal to lug some water, but I always bring a jug, an uh, empty jug to fill. Uh, something to trim away a few br brush and bushes if you need to, and something to hang your uh, lick up in the tree. Now, I use paracord. Uh, I like paracord. I buy it by the thousand foot roll on Amazon. It's not too expensive. Uh, it's green, which is helpful, and it's, uh, it's really strong, so I like to use paracord for mine. So with all that said, you're going to uh, take your ingredients, make sure they're shaken up really well, make sure that's all mixed around and stirred in there. Hey, you don't want it to be layered, you want it to be a good mixture throughout your, throughout your bag. Now, you don't have to do this much, don't get me wrong, this is a, this is a lot of mineral here, right? Um, but this is going to stay here all summer and I don't want to ever have to refresh it. And this is a pretty big canvas bag, so... Um, you mix your three ingredients together, you take the lid off your jar here, and you're going to pour the ingredients of your bucket, obviously, into your canvas bag, or whatever bag you chose. Okay, the ingredients are all in the canvas bag. And next up, we're just going to hang it in that spot that I showed you in that tree. Um, well, no, we're going to get ready to hang it, okay? So you need to figure out a length of paracord that you need, or length of string or whatever you're going to use, okay? Um, I don't tie the top of the bag shut, all right? I actually um, really just like to, if you can, this one has loops, which are really convenient, but if you don't have that, you can just poke a couple of holes. It's actually pretty good to leave the top of the bag open or as loose as you can so that when it rains, the water seeps down or gets down into it, right? That loop that, uh, where that dead branch, that broken off part, and then back down. Okay, so I'm going to be able to use it, you know, kind of as a pulley system to pull it off. And wherever this sits on the ground, uh, what you're going to want to do, or at least what I do, is I clear out the foliage, okay? So I want to clear down, at least clear the dead leaves away. Uh, anything green, just kick that away, clear it away. Just, it doesn't have to be a big spot, but just a spot, right? Where when the, uh, where the mineral drips, it drips into the dirt, okay? As opposed to on top of the leaves. Right? If there's anything dead like this that's rotten, that's okay to leave because the mineral will soak in there and the deer will, the deer will chew away at that. So just a quick, simple spot like that is easy. Okay, then it's off to get us some water. So whatever container you brought for water, go and fill that up out of a nearest stream or brook or whatever you got. Okay, you're back at your, uh, at your lick, you got your middle spot. I'm gonna set your canvas bag right at the spot you cleared out in the, in the leaves. You're gonna open up the top, and you're gonna pour your entire contents, how much water you got, you're gonna pour it right down into the top. So you've got uh, all your ingredients in the bag, you've got your spot picked out, you've got your uh, rope attached, you just filled it full of all that water, okay, and it's slowly soaking down through, starting to drip out a little bit now, which is good. And now all you want to do is hoist it up in the tree, and uh, you want to hoist it up in the tree as high as you can, um, you know, at least so that you think it's out of the height of bears, or if there are bears, but uh, in your area, so... Okay, so I got it all tied up there. I just uh, went up as far as I could and then tied my rope off down to another solid tree. And as you can see already with this canvas, this is beautiful, right? So the water I put in is just starting to seep through now and it's pulling that molasses and that salt 
and that deer cane mixture all down through. And it's just real slowly saturating the, saturating the bag and then dripping down right here onto the spot that we had cleared. So what you can see, uh, what's gonna happen here is that right now I just put some water in there, right? So it's dripping down real nice and it's creating that, uh, that mineral lick on the ground. And of course, every time it rains, uh, that's gonna resaturate that mixture in that bag and it's gonna continue to drip down. So each rain we get here, there's gonna be a fresh new allotment, a fresh new bunch of that mineral molasses uh, deer cane mixture on the ground for the deer to paw and dig around at. Uh, really great setup, like I said, especially if you um, are in an area that you don't wanna come into a lot because you know it's public ground and people might see you or it's uh, an area where the deer are real skittish or whatever then uh, this is a, a great thing to use. Not too bad to set up, a little bit of extra work in here, but not, uh, but not something terrible. So uh, anyway, I hope this helps you out. And uh, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.